All right, welcome back, folks. We're happy to be back uh, from a little uh, long, um, long break. But hey, hopefully now the stream is coming back a little stronger and a little better for it all. So, uh, as a quick recap for anyone who missed out on the first half of tonight's session, breakfast. <laughs> That's pretty much all you missed. Uh, breakfast, as well as Mahmoud, our person, uh, one of the individuals of the group, the Crimson Peacekeepers, say from the Hag Cavern. Um, is now a aberrant sorcerer, for whatever reason, unknown. But another mystery to solve that the group probably will investigate later on. But time skipping a little bit. Uh, you all, it's about uh, ten thirty in the morning when you gather into the study for into Adnan's study. Revenos is present as well as this giant kin. Uh, she is bald but has her uh, hood pulled up. She's wearing very monkish attire uh, and is sitting patiently waiting for all of you. Uh, one by one you come in and just very quickly, let's go down the list. Uh, Alice, what were you basically doing after breakfast? And are you there? Like, what's Alice's mood as she enters the, the study? How much time did we have between breakfast and now? I'd say 30 minutes. All right, she was, um, mm, we need to get new clothes for this child. She's not been wearing new clothes for a very long time. Uh, she is gonna read part of her celestial beginner book to Aurelia so that this child can be well-versed in multiple languages as she grows up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, awesome. And then you come back. Great. Uh, are you leaving the the baby? Because you all are going to be in the room. Are you leaving the baby with like Abdel, La Laura, or Daphne? Uh, Laura, La Laura, Laura's old enough to babysit. Yeah, she's like twelve years she old. Yeah, Alice doesn't entirely trust the fairy. She's like, mm, you might baby nap. <laughs> all right. So cool. You have a conversation with Laura and trust her with Aurelia uh, while you're in the meeting. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the baby's bigger than the fairy. <laughs> Great. Uh, next up, Danny, you were going, like, doing the experiment. You just got out from Mahmoud. You go to the meeting. Like, how, how is, what is, uh, Danny's mood for, uh, as she goes into the meeting? She's, I think she's going in, like, <clears throat> She's half processed seeing Revenos and this other person, and there's a part of her that thinks she's seen this other person before, but she's not entirely sure because she's seen a lot of people. But like, everything kind of goes back to I just hope Mahmoud's doing all right. Like, like what she's really thinking about, like what she keeps coming back to, is just hope he's doing okay. Perfect. Awesome. All right, let's go then next to Lance. Lance. What are you doing in the next 30 minutes in the morning, and what is your mood as you go to the meeting? Um, Lance would have gone upstairs and checked on the people who are not down here. Yep. Wait. And make sure she still exists and didn't run away in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Katya does exist, and she is with uh, Zombie Chadwick. Um, she just wanted to wait for after everyone was done, so that way she can go get her breakfast. Um, prefers not to be me. Not to necessarily like um, socialize with any of the others, because she thinks that they blame her for everything that happened. So she was waiting respectfully for everyone else to be done, and now is going to go get her own breakfast. You also can check on Chance because she was also absent, but you basically find out that she was just reading. She's okay. <laughs> I sent him a message. I said earlier yeah. this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It was mostly Katya and Zombie Chat like to make sure they were still there. Yep. So, with that being said, you what is Lance's mood as he goes to the meeting? Um, he's just whatever. He just wants to know what's going on. He feels like we're gonna we're gonna get told something that's gonna either excite him or annoy him. Gotcha. All right, going next then to Erlon. Arlon, what are you doing in the morning for like that nap, 30 minutes after breakfast? Um, well, good news is I was going to talk to Revenos, but we're going to talk to him anyway. So, 
in 30 minutes, I don't think I can learn much Draconic in that time. So I am going to, it's a new day, I'm going to give a call to Eloquent if I can. All right, you're sending ascending? Yeah. All right, what do you say, what is it you send specifically? Uh, hey, it's Big Red. Wait, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Say it one more time. Hey, it's Big Red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember, we really don't know how this still works, guys. Just. <laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning, Big Red. Hope you're having a good day so far. A little limited with 25 words, but I miss you. That's Wait, we only get 25 words with this thing? And it's only one, so like, that was basically your 25 words, was, hey, what's up? That okay, was well, he was going to set that, so that's perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, so, so I will still, I will still say that to the sending stone, and, um, not get anything, I guess, for, in return. Yeah, you basically <laughs> saying it doesn't look like it's activated. <laughs> Fantastic, this is great. <laughs> And it's 25 words that you can say at once, but that's your like the one message. I know. I so know instead of using all 25 words, you use four. <laughs> Me knows what it is. Erlon, just, yeah. rock, just <laughs> <laughs> still getting the hang of this thing. <laughs> all right. So what's your mood going into the meeting? That man, I got to hear of Eloquent, and I'm so happy. Awesome. And now I'm going to try my hardest to speak some broken draconic to Revenos. There we go. And also tell them about some crazy stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chance. Chance, uh, what have you been doing for the next like 30 minutes after you uh, heard that there was going to be a meeting? Um, Wrapping up what she was doing. Perfect. She'll and probably what... be pretty early down there just because she wasn't otherwise okay. uh, occupied. Gotcha. And what's Chance's mood as she's entering? Uh, the room. Dude, I don't know what my mood is right now. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just saying, like, just for vibes, vibes check. <laughs> if, if, if her, if her mind was inside out, they'd all be fighting over the keyboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> just nonstop gibberish on the keyboard. <laughs> so, or not the the control pad, right? Is it the yeah. control pad? Or, okay. Whatever it is. <clears throat> All right, you all arrive, and Revenos smiles. He's like, "All right, we're all here now." Well, uh, how's how did you all enjoy your third feast? Your invitation to the uh, Eastern Elite. Everyone have fun. It wasn't too bad. It was, it was interesting. Uh, I almost spilled the beans about you. I'm glad you did, otherwise I might have had to kill you a little bit. Well, <laughs> good thing I didn't. <laughs> I... That's a, you know it's a joke, right? Please not, of course. Anyway, allow me to introduce to you all Quintessence. Quintessence here, I'll allow her to introduce herself. She kind of like stands up. <clears throat> And she is tall. She is a giant kid. So she towers above all of you all uh, at seven feet tall. Hello, my name is Quintessence. I am the sliver of wisdom. Yes. As uh, the sliver of wisdom, she was um, has access to certain powers that we were utilizing for it. We need to have a very candid conversation for a moment. It appears that the Rhea team took a couple of blows, but was able to successfully um, battle and contain weakness, the anti-zeal. Uh, we are in a phase where we have two anti-16ths currently captured. One in Chance and another in, well, let's just say one of the Rian heroes down south. We need to enter our next phase. We've been trying to do some research, uh, and the Trostani has had some major breakthroughs. But we need 
we need to get into the next stage of experiments. This has led us to the conclusion, or at least the 16 have come to a conclusion. We need to locate the Traveler. Fortunately, Quintessence here has some answers there. One of my, the vaults that I protect allows us to observe different locations. We've been tracking sometimes the location of the Traveler. We know though that right now, yesterday, he was last seen in Zarek. We need you all to travel there, locate him, and we believe he is right now underground in some magical ruins. Specifically, Dwelven ruins. He does say the word Dwelven, which you know is a archaic term for elves and dwarves that have made it for it and have created a very rare race for it. Some Dwelven ruins that are not constant. When I mean that they're not constant, they tend to move about. The door opens in different locations. Time moves differently in there as well. So we have a very limited window, perhaps a week, two weeks, three weeks, before maybe the door changes away from Zeric. Revenos. So, we need you to go locate the Traveler, find the door somewhere in Zeric, and um, get the Traveler to come back to us. We need his expertise in ruin. Specifically, why? Yes, Chance? Uh, why isn't he just coming back? The Traveler doesn't the unique story behind the Traveler. His connection to the Goddess of Change is not constant. It is in part due to what he did to himself. You see, Iridian, Iridion was his name before. He was the Sliver of Change. Unfortunately, 200 years ago, his vault, his idea for bringing peace on Telos was abused by a cult known as the Silver Dawn. He hid it well with his humor, but he was seriously traumatized by the situation. And so he started getting really interested in the Sliver of Peace's uh, solution barriers first, but then he was curious about ways to negate and break things apart. Specifically, how to break apart evil was what he was thinking. His his original vault was about, well, I don't want to spill all of his secrets, it would be very rude of me, but all I'll just say is this. He experimented on himself and broke himself into three parts. one of which is the Traveler. Because he's broken himself into three parts, similar to like the Trostani, but in an imperfect way, his connection to the Goddess of Change is fractured. He gets some of her messages, but not all of them. And right now in the Dwelven Ruins, less so. So consider him cut off from- That includes goddess. sending? Yeah, He's not attached to the weave either. The Dwelven ruins, you can't send anything through uh, sending through them. So, we can't send to him. So you need us to... Go ahead. Zanny. You can go first. Yeah, <laughs> just picking up. Zanny, go ahead. So, you want us to be your messengers? We want you to get him, <clears throat> bring him out of the Dwelven Ruins. As I said, time moves differently there. We need him to 
bring back whatever it is that he went there for it, because he goes places where he is perhaps needed or where he needs to be. So we need to find out, one, why is he in there, and two, get him out there so that he can help us with the research and remove, potentially, violence from chance and seal it away. Is, uh, if we go talk to him, is he going to be cooperative with that? Or yeah, are we going to have to talk into about, it? I've been looking for him for three weeks, and he knows that I was. Does he? At least before he left. I but if he's been know. split into thirds, maybe the part that you're looking for doesn't know. Yeah, maybe one of them knows. I mean, knows. I, was, I was looking for the Traveler. The Traveler was here. Mm -hmm. mm. I think he was here a few weeks ago, but mm. either way, he headed east and then suddenly ended up west in Zerek. So I don't know the timeline. Quintessence, so you can only see the present situation. You can't look backwards in time. But he should be cooperative, unless something is holding him back or other things. He should cooperate. It is his duty. Any All question? Right. Should we... <clears throat> well, also, should we have an expectation as to how this time stuff works? Are we talking faster, slower, or chaotic jumble of yes? Chaotic jumble of yes. Great, fantastic. Just the way I love it. What were you saying, Lance? Sorry. We can't leave the city. How are we supposed to get there? is where you, I don't know, smuggle yourselves into there. It's apparently not that hard to get trip. there. Bruce made oh. the trip twice. And he's Bruce. Is the store in the city or outside of the city? I mean, if they're ruins... I know that they're in quintessence answers. The ruins, we don't know. They're somewhere in the city. There are ruins outside the city. I'd probably recommend checking those out first. But it probably won't be that simple. Uh, Ravenos then says, I have a contact in Zerg, uh, a fairy. They can probably tell you if there's certain magics that they've noticed recently. The door to the Dwelven Ruins only opens at night. specifically around it. But, again, time is weird in the Dwelven Ruins, so it's not exact. Okay. So we got to figure out where it is, and then hopefully be in the right place at the right time, but time is in flux, so the right time might be the wrong time. Exactly. We I fucking hate time is. magic. Do you know what I mean? can kiss my ass. We have to figure again. out where it is and when it is. Exactly, and this is perhaps why the Traveler enjoys using the Dwelven Ruins. It travels. <clears throat> okay. I mean... Just smuggle ourselves into Zerk. Uh, I mean, I could... I don't know if y'all got any ideas. I could talk to Ophelia. I'm not entirely sure that would... We're not entirely like we wanted to, but she might be able to help us. Um, how did Bruce get in and out? Uh, Z. Ah, you have a smuggler. Excellent. I have a friend. <laughs> the dawn callers can leave at will, can't they? Actually, no. <laughs> uh, they're technically not supposed to. But they go where they're needed. Better to yeah. ask for forgiveness than permission. Am I right, John? Yeah. Hmm. Alright. I'm glad you're not talking that civilization sliver isn't here. She would berate me nonstop. I mean, there's probably a way to do it legally. 
You can pursue the legal route. That would probably be a lot of time. paperwork. Actually, Adnan's supposed to be back today. We'll just ask him how he got back. Use whatever resources you are able to. But just understand, time is of the essence. And this is your hero journey. How you grow, how you act, and how you handle this will help prepare you for whatever is to come. Any last questions? No. Uh, fun. Uh, contestants, you you're gonna be in town for a little while. Uh, perhaps I might be leaving off. I might not stay the full day here. Great. Well, sounds but um, let's, let's go for a walk if you want. Leave them to whatever things plans they have to deal to deal with. And if you all want to talk to contestants a little later, perhaps we can arrange something. Otherwise. Good luck, start planning, heroes. <laughs> if you're gonna um, go for a walk, go get je take her to go get Jellos. Jellos, uh, hmm. Alright, we'll try to test that place out. Quintessence, no, these smiles. It was nice meeting all of you. Thank you as well. You too. And you see, she and Revenos leave. So is it just going to be a normal thing for slivers to show up at, at our house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like a, kind of a once you're on their radar, they just all kind of appear? Yeah, it starts... <clears throat> it will probably happen more than you think and definitely more than you want to. Uh, it's probably been more than I want to. Dragons, slivers, get used to it. She wasn't a dragon. Same. Oh no, I don't think so. Uh, I, I, I think she was what you see on the tin. Uh, just uh, yeah, this will be normal soon, I'm sure. It's like oh. life back down south. Yeah, here we go. Also, Rian heroes. Who's being a hero like down there? Well. I assume it's one of your cousins. Uh, part of me hopes yes, part of me hopes no. But I it hope she's very okay. pointedly not to give us a name. Yeah. Yeah. Probably to keep information out of our heads in case someone wants to go looking for it. Hmm. Unless we know about who has what the better when it comes to these anti-16 things. I'm just gonna... Cross my fingers it wasn't my cousin Esther and move on with my life. Wrong with Esther. I just... It's mostly me. I just... I'm jealous of her. I'll never tell her that to her face, but I'm jealous of her. She... She's just as good as I am and like... 20 fucking years old. It pisses me off as all. No, no, she's a she's full blooded dream can. But doesn't that? Uh, never mind. You know what? Never mind. We can have that debate on the road after we figure out how we're going to get out of this city. I could I could ask Zeta how she managed to get Bruce out, and then we can figure out how to do it on a much larger scale because there's a couple more of us. Yeah. Um. I mean, I, I, I mentioned Ophelia, but if we go, I, I, that's the route we could go, probably going to be very exorbitant. I mean, we are friends, but it's several of us. I mean, if we wanted to go the official route, I can message or send a sending to the general and just be like, look, I need to leave and I can't tell you why. Oh, boy. I mean, you are a smooth talker. Maybe you can do that. What does the... I mean, when we've been walking around the city, what does the perimeter look like? Like, as far mm -hmm. as, you know, how yeah. how guarded it is. So, the perimeter outside the city is guarded. 
he is well guarded. Um, the refugee camp has mostly been dismantled. Um, they either half, more than half of them, uh, I would say two thirds of them left. One third heading towards Zarek, one third walking towards Jenna. The other third has been assimilated into the city. The, you know or have heard that they, there are a lot of patrols that go about uh, towards the west. So there are, there are patrols It is heavily guarded westward. How long would it take to walk to Zarek? So here's going to be the thing. Walking there, sneaking or not sneaking is going to be my question to you. Let's say not sneaking. I would say about two days. What if we're on horseback if we're not sneaking? We're just kind of confidently riding across the desert. About a day. If you're sneaking, it'll probably be three days. Because at certain points, you can stealth very easily at night. And are people... Uh, does, does, does Alice have a faint inkling of like, hey, I want to go home. How long would it take to get that kind of paperwork through? None of you have asked. You know that Z uh, Zeta has done the trip. Usually when she travels, it takes about four days for her when she's with Bruce. So you guys could, you have a couple of routes here. Just right now, you could uh, come into contact with Zeta and ask her to smuggle your uh, hiding through the border. That might be take four days. Same thing with Ophelia. If Ophelia has any other smugglers to go that route, unless you are asking for magical means, again, that's going to cost you more, or you're going to go through official routes, which you don't know how long that's going to take, per se. Uh, As we're talking about this, can Lance go in the back, just leave and walk to the backyard? Yeah, there's a door. Okay, there's, there's a fountain back there, right? Yep. Lance is just going to go to the fountain and ask the fountain if they can get all of us to Zurich. Do you say anything when you leave, or is it just like, okay, bye? <laughs> Lance just looks like he has an idea and then walks out of the room. Okay. Yeah, that happened. What would be 100? <laughs> okay. You say that to the fountain. You don't get a response right away. And how long are you going to stand there? Lance thinks about it and goes, I need an offering. Goes back inside, it's like, I need an offering. For what? I think I can get us there, like, right now. Maybe. Uh, okay, well, okay, but what kind of offering? You didn't answer my question. Probably kind of a magic item or something. Lance, Never. roll a perception check. Um, alright, that's weird. By the way, have we, has any... Yeah, you hear, you hear something near the door. The front door? Yeah. The, the door I just came out of. The front door. Uh, hold on, hold that thought. Okay. Lance will go to the front door. And there he goes again. <laughs> and you see your uncle and Don walking in. Ah, nephew. Uh, hello, I'm back. Yes, welcome back. We have so many guests. I thought you said you had a couple. They expanded. Why? Well, we went and destroyed a coven of hags underneath this town, and we had some people that needed to be rescued. Did you, like, readjust his glasses? <laughs> Why? Because hags bad? I understand that. Um... Okay, you think you are 
adventuring. So wait, <clears throat> you tell me and your grandmother that you want to, that we need to leave because there is danger. Yes. And then you occupy my home, which I'm okay with, but then you bring more people in and you race headlong into a, a lair of hags. Yes, but before we get there, I learned a new spell that I'm going to want to teach you. Okay, I'm fascinated by spells, you know this, but I'm not going to get distracted by that right now. Why are you exposing yourself to danger if you're telling us to leave and not get exposed to danger? Mm, because the gods told me to? The gods? Yes. Good enough answer, I suppose. All right. Um, question, DM. Another question. He met Revenos before, right? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Because wasn't he there? No, he wasn't. Wolf met no. Revenos. <laughs> You're, yeah, the, he hasn't met Revenos. I don't even think uh, the family met Revenos. The only one who met Revenos was Bruce. Okay. Um... There are two people in particular that when they get back, you're gonna love or hate. Your ambiguity is is not appreciated. Just just speak clearly. Dragon, I come back having to pull a favor from your mother to get back, Ooh. and. Now I'm getting a lot of ambiguous answers. Just, just please, just speak it straight. He's a dragon. Hmm, what kind? Green. Ah, interesting. And the other one? Also green? Uh, no, I don't know what she is. She's a giant can. Okay. But she's super powerful. I'll let them decide if they want to tell you what they are exactly, because I think if I did and they didn't want you to know, Boom. Okay. Well, green dragons are known for their secrecy, so it makes sense. Ugh. You see him, he's just like walking past you and heading towards his study. <laughs> Does not know you, anyone else is there, but that's his first place uh, he's going. Lance says ascending to chance. It says, everybody get out of the study right now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is chance doing? Is she telling people to get out through the backyard or go through the front? Lance says, get out, I guess, through the door to the backyard. Get out! Yeah, what did he do wrong? Or what did he do when he left? I bet Adnan's home. Yeah. Does everyone get out? <laughs> come on, this way, this way, this way, Alice, come, Alice, come on. The this other way, sweetie. are in the kitchen. I, we, we, I'll get them out of here, come on. I'll go deal with them. No, no, Lance so just said get out of the this. study. You don't have to leave the house. Just the study. That's not what we were told. We were told, leave. <laughs> yeah, it was well, I assumed here. out of the study, but that if we went out the front door of the study, they would see us being yeah, exactly. in the study. So right. I'm, I'm trying to get us out through the back and around to the front. <laughs> yeah, you guys get out in the backyard right here. And the way, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, there's two doors right here. There's literally a door into his uh, alchemy lab, and there's another door into the kitchen. So you can literally just go into the kitchen and go, like, right around if you wanted. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going outside. <laughs> Alice goes outside and goes right back in. <laughs> <laughs> Alice gets dragged outside and then goes absolutely not. <laughs> and goes back into the kitchen. <laughs> Alright. Adnan enters and he's like, Alright. And I'm assuming Lance is following right after him. All right, so you all have dragons in my abode. Anything else I should be aware of? Um, there's also a fairy, a zombie, a warlock, a sorcerer who just found out he was a sorcerer today, a baby who is definitely going to turn into a hag when 13 years, another kid, and some dude I haven't talked to much. 
it was a sheep. Why? A lot of stuff has happened while you were gone. I fifteen. Okay. Well, do they have places to go, or should I consider them guests for an extended period of time? I haven't figured that out yet. We're working on that. You have the timeline. In progress. Continue on, then. I will try to reacclimate uh, re myself to my home sweet home and uh, take a shower. That's all. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, that spell. You know the fly spell, right? Yes. Okay, so I found a broken scroll of fly. And I figured out how to use it in a good way. A broken Cool. Yeah, it was one that a hag was trying to make, and they made it wrong. Hmm. So once you go up, you just keep going up. Interesting. But if you take one of those angel things that was attacking the city the night after I told you to leave, and you just let one go for five minutes, and then you let go, they create a crater when they land, and take out a block and a half of the city. So like an artillery shell. Noted. That Yeah, with a person as the artillery. Hmm. Or creature. Or anything that can't fly it, it seems. Well, if you have time to read your spell book, I would definitely like to study it. Yes. Oh, so you mom got you guys you back. Using our family in uh teleportation circle. Son of a bitch, that's going to be the easiest way, because I have to go to Zarek. Okay, so you have to go to Zarek. Wait, why do you have to go to Zarek? Mm, I have to go find someone the dragon is looking for. Makes as much sense as anything else. So, you have to go find this person, you're leaving... When are you leaving, or is that part of the ambiguous timeline? Well, we were trying to figure out how to get out of town, because they don't let people leave town. Yes, yeah, so... it is... Alright, well, you have a couple of... Op or a few options, I would imagine. Um, if you need to... You can try to sneak across. It's very dangerous. You can go the route of, uh... Don't know. <laughs> Sneaking around, or if you have contacts in this government, I don't... Maybe? I know that there is a, a lot of movement happening right now. Uh, they are marching to attack one of the cities. I could always ask the general, because I was at Third Feast last night with her. I'm sorry, you were... At the third feast. Yes. What has happened in 16 days? Oh, I also invested in a store. This guy makes really nice shoes. Look at these things. Amazing. They are high quality. They, or at least they look high quality. Stop trying to distract me. Okay. So, you need... I can try to look at some of my contacts in Zarek. I can make no promises, but I can try seeing if there's anyone that can help there. Uh, Otherwise, a scroll of teleport could be useful, but the problem with teleportation is they will know you're teleporting there. And with how the things tense are, you probably will be arrested, or at least, at the very least, detained to be questioned. And where was the teleportation circle in Zarek? Do you happen to know what it looked like? I never saw a teleportation in Zerek. The teleportation circle was activated for me to teleport to our estate here in Timor. Do you know of any teleportation circles in Zerek? I... There's one in the uh, Castle of Books. That's the one that uh, Arif uses. Uh, there is no public one, as you can imagine, because of the war. 
I can try to contact some of the others. I know there may be the mountain wizard, the murder, the mountain magician might have one privately. That... I guess I could go ask the black wizard of Hill if he has a way to get over there. Or I can go ask the dawn callers. So it seems. Oh, yeah, I joined the dawn callers too. Why? Mm, extra access to resources. At this point, uh, you can tell me that you have a new tattoo, and I probably would just blink and say, okay. No, I don't have that. I have a bunch of skeletons now. Oh, speaking of which, uh, upstairs there's four talking skeletons, or sk skulls. I did not program them that way. I bought them like that. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, do you want me to have the uh, Zanny or Chance make you some tea, some nice relaxing tea? Yes. I will need that. Let me have that after my shower. I want to check some records, take a, a nice shower, and then try to settle back in. Of course. So, Lance, you're able to <laughs> get excused as he kind of just like, he's just like rests in his armchair, just like, <laughs> just like thinking about everything that just happened. And let's go into a time suit. So, we're entering a time suit. Oh, I'm gonna just for the sake of because we. Lost a little bit of time. I'm gonna kind of summarize some of your guys' options as you guys are discussing some of them. So, number one, you can use the black market contacts to try to escort you, either escort you directly there or find a way to teleport you there. So those are two separate options: escort or teleport. Your sec, your you also have the option of smuggling by Zeta. You can also try to see about getting a quest something for uh, from the Dawn Callers in that area. Number four, you can try to pursue contacts with any of the magicians. Either you talking to the, like, the Black Magician or letting Adnan try to contact the uh, mountain magician in Zarek, or you can try to do the official route with the governments. So let me go through everyone and just see like what's their vibe for it. So, Alice, what is your what is Alice kind of like leaning towards? Um, Alice is leaning towards asking Zeta how she did it, but not asking Zeta to take them because she feels really bad that she's been asking Zeta to go back and forth so much. Okay. So when you ask Zeta, she just basically tells you that she snuck them. <laughs> she did it the old-fashioned way of sneaking with uh, Bruce, and that's why Bruce, you saw Bruce came in with, like, uh, cargo pants, ca khakis, and a lot of, like, tan cloak, is because she, they were literally just hiding and moving in the desert. She also okay. does ask, by the way, um... Who's the green-haired guy that was living, that's in the house? There's someone with green hair. It's Revenos. Yeah. Revenos has green hair? Revenos, yeah. I uh, mean... Not yeah. subtle at all. Well, he's all green. Wait, he's wait, green let, let, me, let, me see, let me see his picture again. He's all greened out. Hold on, I'm trying to grab him. Oh, sorry. I think I added him to the map layer. Token. And then... Greenish hair. Okay, it's greenish. Yeah, I thought I thought I was thinking like bright green. Honestly, my brain saw that as gray. So, Revnos has <laughs> had gray hair this whole time in my head. <laughs> nope, green hair. Uh, which kind of tracks for Alice? So she is legitimately going to ask, wh which person with the green hair? Um, there's only one person with green hair, Alice. Vanny has purple hair, and I guess Lance has black He's hair. This tall wears green, uh, Wait, elven. Are you talking about red nose? I thought, I thought his hair was gray. You might need to go to an optometrist, dear. Well, regardless of what color his hair is, darling, absolutely not. What do you mean? Just 
Absolutely not. I don't need you asking after him, alright? I will play matchmaker for you whenever you want, but not with him. That just makes me more curious about him. But, alright. Later. I swear by the 16, if I come back here, and I have found out that you have decided to attempt to court Ravnos, we are going to have words. Any more than you have that we've had thus far? <sighs> so many, you will get the biggest earful of your life, not just from me, but I will bring Zanny into this. I'm She's his very... babysitter, after all. Thank you. But, okay, whatever. So, that's where... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was just like, we're gonna have words. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's Alice. Zanny, what is Zanny uh, leaning towards? Zanny, Zanny really wants to do the official channels because of just how she's wired, but she also knows that's not super feasible time wise, probably. Because, you also know, because you were at the third feast, they're literally doing a military offensive right now. Yeah, so so it's, yeah, unless unless we, it it, it take a, an act of the sixteen to get a, to to get us permission to get out of here. Um, you would all hear over the new. Not to interrupt, but this is something that Danny would find out today. They're marching with the troops into Relico, and from Relico they can either attack Zarek or go straight to Hassania, which was the, the city that the West recently took over. Huh. Yeah, I think, I think Zanny's leaning into either at least figuring out how Z did it or going with Lance's magician friends. Okay. Um, it, it, she mentioned Ophelia because that's the person that she has contact with that she knows could could definitely get it. Like, their black market. It's literally what they do. Um, but it's also the most lawless route and will by far undoubtedly be the most expensive. Gotcha. All right. Let's go then next to Lance. Where is what is Lance leaning towards? Um. <clears throat> Either the magicians is fine, or seeing if we can somehow trigger a quest from the Dawn Callers that would get us out of here. Okay. Uh, Erlon, what is what is Erlon leaning towards? Like, what does he think would be a good way to get to Zarek? Um, uh, well, I wanted to bring up an idea, and I know Lance wouldn't like it, but I wanted to maybe see if his mother would be able to help us. That's also an option. So, if not, probably the the other his his friend's way. But I was thinking maybe his mother could be of assistance in this. All right, that's where my vote is. Hey, that's a good one. So, all right. And chance, uh, I see you rolled a deception check. Um, <laughs> what are you deceiving? Um, she's just seeing how much she's looking, uh, how much she's visibly looking uncomfortable. Um, gotcha. Okay. So everyone roll an uh, insight check. Changed my dice, and the only number I see me to be able to roll now is 16. Yep. <laughs> so Alz and Zanny are able to tell Chance looks uncomfortable. Everyone else, like uh, Lance and Erlon, are probably busy with things. But yeah, Zanny and uh, Alice, you can tell Chance seems to be 
you're thinking a lot more than usual, and perhaps not very comfortable with something. So she's not... So she's not... She's... She is speaking when spoken to, like, responding to other people's um, suggestions, but she's not making any suggestions. She's not proactive about this. She is quiet. Does Chance, uh, throughout any of the conversations, kind of lean more towards one of the, the different options that was brought up? No. She will go to Zarek, but she is she is making no effort to get to Zarek. Alright. So, overall, and you guys can basically discuss this right now in free form, it sounds like the question now is either do you guys want to try to leverage Layla and uh, Black Sand's connections? Do you guys want to try to get the Dawn Callers to have a quest near that area? Or do you want to try to sneak by, like how Zeta did it, traditional just cross the border? Or wait for contacts with magicians and work out some type of deal? You guys can discuss right now. I, you know, I don't see any harm in playing the Dawn Collar's angle because at worst, they say they don't have any jobs for you, and at best, they do, and we get to go do work while we're doing work and get paid for it. I do have a follow-up, and uh, I guess a sort of amendment, well, not an amendment, but a follow-up to that, I suppose. Um, how many of our entourage are we bringing with us? That does kind of decide whether or not we will be sneaky, because I'm sure we can control... Laura to a degree, but she is a 12 year old. Um, well, yeah. Sandy, we have been 12 year old girls. Chance has been a 12 year old girl. Yeah. Erlon was once a 12 year old girl, but. <laughs> now, I, I've been thinking about her. I was hoping we'd get at least a moment where uh, it wasn't all kind of coming down around us all the time because I wanted to talk to her and maybe see if she was interested in going to the Rhea in the moving to my home. Peacekeepers, not the babysitters, guys. We have a thing to do. We don't want yeah. to babysit this club. I mean, he's already mad at me, so we can ask Adnan to keep an eye on them and help find places for them, or if you want to send somebody from the Rhea to pick her up or something, we can arrange that. My understanding is there's a contingent of paladins already coming up to the north. I was hoping to meet up with them at some point in time and when and if they decide to return south, maybe they could take her with them. You know, so she's got protection to head back down, but my thought with her was if if, if Adnan is is welcome to keep her here while it's safe in the city. I, I would appreciate it, but that's also her choice. She might just want to leave and be done with all us, all, us all anyway, and as far as I'm concerned, she's a, with everything she's seen at her age, she might as well be an adult. I hate to say it. I wouldn't say that to her. I know. I wouldn't. But, I mean, we're all adults here. That's, that little girl's been through Enough. Doesn't answer what we're going to do with Aurelia, though. Yeah. Um. You have bonded quite to this child. Um. No, no, darling. No, no. It's a, it's a very cursory. I'm just taking care of her. I, I literally I walk over and attempt to take the child from you, hey, you as doing? you say it. Uh-huh, yeah. What were you saying? What were you saying? No, no, give her back. Uh-huh, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, she's just come with me, all right? I'm like a baby whisperer. <sighs> okay. Alice, you, you've taken a shine to that girl, and it's okay to admit it. I know you have. A bit, just a bit. Just, just, 
Just a little bit, darling. A little bit. I mean, we can't... We cannot take a baby with us. We just can't. That's the thing. Do you want me to leave um, here with Adnan? Technically, depending on how we're going there, we probably could take the baby with us. Oh, oh, this is, this is the, can I, can I put her in the mail? That is a thing you could do. We can mail her to Zarek. <laughs> no. You didn't even want to put her in the bag of holding for 30 seconds. Okay, maybe I should have the baby. That was a joke before, but maybe I should have her. Hey, this is pre-1900s and the last baby was mailed in 1901. Wait, what? Yes, that, the last that is, baby that was sent through. Yeah, it is, it is in fact true. That I did not know. <laughs> well, because the mail was a guy on horseback, so you're just like, here's my two-year-old, take him take to his grandma. Way, yeah. And they would just literally shove him in a mail bag and ride yeah. off with them. You just put stamps on the kid. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there is a horrible. <laughs> so it's one of those things that is shoving it in a bag where they can't breathe, not okay. Putting them in a mail bag with a stranger, totally okay. If not when if, you won't if even this like, was, yeah. uphold them. If this was a normal child, I'd agree with the mailing thing. But she's not. <laughs> I'm not going to mail a magical child. Zaddy, can I tell you a secret? Yeah. Bruce doesn't know. I wasn't going to ask you if you had told him yet, but now I know. Oh, I no. Don't know to, I don't know how to tell him. And it's not like it's going to be a permanent thing. I mean, we're not, obviously, we're going to find some someone else to take care of this child. Again, Alice is most I... likely, likely lying. Um, I already yeah. agreed to adopt her. Even, think... like, not yet, right? I mean, I was going to leave her with my friends that have my brother as well. Alice makes a face. She's, she's, she's very much lying to herself and all of you by saying she's giving the child away. Um, anyways, depending on how we go, if we go magically, we can take the baby with us and drop her off with Bruce or your parents there. <laughs> That's true, my parents do already have a one-year-old, what's, you know... And they're in Zarek. Another one. They are in Zarek, as are both of my sisters, so my entire family is actually there right now. Oh, 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 oh I could give her to Simone and Penny. Oh. Does Papery Industries have a teleportation circle? We're a paper company. That doesn't mean you don't ship goods. I mean, magical shipments. Yeah, you get also, in. Also, Revenos can cascade. Why did he just open a gate for us while he was standing here? Because, because be it's easy. dangerous to teleport because they know that you've teleported. And yeah, he's it, an asshole. Yeah, it doesn't matter how powerful you are, they'll still just know. Yep. Yeah, like teleportation, maybe a circle doesn't hit, but other teleportation does. Yeah. It's 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 not about uh, getting out of here, it's about getting out of here out of here quiet. Yeah, you all... they, they don't know we leave the teleport we leave here. They t know when you arrive, correct? Correct. The divination machines in Aramir, because this is a hybrid of magic and technology, it's basically a sensor. Anytime someone teleports in, it basically alarms them, and they don't know who you are. They don't know that that is a huge taboo in the cities. They will arrest you because they have to have a lot of questions well... uh, about it. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, if it's just about strangers teleporting in, I mean, we could tell the Arif we're coming. That's also true. Yeah, uh, and hey, also hey, we could hey, just hey, teleport hey, outside hey. the city and then guys, walk I a, in. I got a dumb question. You want to go activate the arch? The arch? The what? Uh -huh. The arch. The arch. The giant portal between Tamashk and Zarek. The I bet you in four days, if it's going to take us four days to walk there, I could figure out how to turn that thing back on. Uh, yeah, but we okay. Past it. I told you guys that archway right there used to be a giant teleportation. It was a way to travel between Tamash and Zarek in the olden days. How long has it not worked? I Hundreds of years. And you okay, can fix it in four days? I, 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 I adore you, but 
I yeah. do not have that confidence in you. I... Maybe, maybe <laughs> if we asked Revenos, he could maybe do it or pull some favors to But I feel like someday you'll be there. But I don't think that is four days from now. He, there's uh, also the thought of even if you can't turn it on, can you then turn it off? Because if not, you've just opened a doorway that anybody can walk through, and they'll really hate you for that one. Also, also, it's in the middle of the city. There are constables and soldiers. They're gonna be like, oh, look. Like, that's, that's, that's even less conspicuous than sneaking out into the desert where there's lots of space where they won't see us. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make you roll an insight thing, Amber. Huh. You know, we might be able to just smuggle ourselves out of here. With. How? Okay, I'm not from here, y'all. How often are locust swarms going around? So what season do locust swarms occur? <laughs> End of summer. July. So yeah, that this would be the season because that would be a thing. If it was in like all, if it was in autumn or spring, you'd have a big problem <laughs> there. Um. Could in theory. Good. Yeah. How uh, often are they? They're rare, but not too. And they're not like extremely rare or like once in a lifetime thing, but they happen like every other year or so. So it wouldn't be unheard of for a locust swarm to hit. It wouldn't be like, that's just like seeing a snowman. I am. Uh... Oh, that's weird. Oh, God. Call the druid. Try to get them away. <laughs> yeah, I could. I mean, it, it, weird idea. Uh, it's kind of doing the dumb, but I. I... I don't know the the this this staff I, I have, it makes a big old swarm of locusts, and they won't see anything inside of it except a bunch of bugs, and I can see out as if they weren't even there. Down, I mean the downside is none of you can will be able to see if we did that. But well, I mean how how often are I mean, are we only going to be doing it, you know, for a half hour stretch as we go past patrols and then we'll have like three hours of walking before we see another patrol again? Like, is there enough space that we could just avoid a lot and then use invisibility and that to be invisible? <clears throat> I mean, I can... I... I... I think we might be able to do it that way with a combination. I mean, I can, I can hold this up to ninety minutes safely without risking the staff. So, but that doesn't have to be all at once. It, it just it's ten minutes at a time. So we could just use it as we need to slip past somebody. Be like, oh, we're not us. We're just a swarm of locusts. Don't mind us. We're just going by you. Bye. But it's, like I said, it's, it's doing the dumb. It's just, it's a thing I can do with this thing. I figured I'd mention it. It's a viable option, I will say, as a DM. So, and just because we're getting closer and closer towards the end of the session, does anyone have any, like, other strong opinions that they want to talk about between Layla, the Dawn Callers, Magicians, or Sneaky? So how long would it take us to get an audience with the Magician? Let's start there. Magicians, it's going to be a gamble. It can take anywhere from two days, because they need to like send back and forth and like agree. You're basically having either Adnan or the Black Magician ask for a favor, and they'll have something else that they may want in exchange for it. Same thing goes with Layla, or Black Set. She could probably get you something very quick, but you're going to have to do something for her in exchange. So if you're looking at the magicians, it could be anywhere from, I would say, three to six days. I would say just as like a, a range. 
you ask for the dawn callers, probably two to four. And if you go with sneaking, that's going to be basically your roll. But Zeta did it in four with going slowly with groups. So that would be two to four with sneaking. So to summarize, sneaking. Go, sneaking is the quickest option. Yeah. Dawn callers, two to four days. You don't know how long it's going to take to get like the approval and everything. Same thing with sneak, two to four. Magicians, three to six. But that would probably be the most up uh, because you're dealing with private wizards. So, what's the decision, y'all? The, the, so the dawn color process isn't. They have a posting of things that need done. It's it's you ask for a job in a certain area, and they might be able to pull some strings for you or something. The, yeah, you're basically going to go to the dawn color and say, "Hey, we need to go here. Do you have anything that we can go there for?" Mind you, you're expected to come back, but you're going to conveniently not be able. But at least you won't have to worry about this. Yeah. I have... I have a mind to either try with the Dawn Callers for some sort of official route, because that's two to four days, but then we'd have to still probably hoof it ourselves. Uh... The wizards maybe has a way to teleport us. Sneaking's probably our actual fastest way to get there, but it's also probably our most dangerous. And most likely to get us in trouble if we get caught. So I think I'm... I want to mention, you're still going to get a little in trouble with the Dawn Callers, because you're expected yeah. to come back. So, it's kind of like a, the, the scale. Quickest, fastest, most illegal, slightly illegal, because you're not coming back after the mission, versus legit. I think, yeah, I think I'm leaning. I don't think I'm leaning for the for the wizards. If we're if we're planning on actually trying to use an option here, and if we're not, then I'm just saying we stock up and hoof it. Yeah. Hold on, you unmute it. Were you about to say something? Yeah, I was in it. I just ask everybody. You guys don't feel like we've made, you know, made a big enough impact with, you know, the people in that party last night that maybe they'd be more keen on, you know, helping us. Seeing that we've kind of made made it very clear that we're here to, you know, help and better others. It would be if we were to ask the general, we could possibly persuade her, but it would be along the lines of she would I feel like she would ask us to be doing Stuff a favor on the behalf of the East we would be going to Zarek to try to convince them to join the East which I am not yet ready to make that commitment what if we what if we didn't go through the general what about the Viscountess Samira, right? Yeah. That was her name? Yeah. Uh, the, not the uh, Viscontest, no, her, her, her like, grand, grand, right. grand kid, yes. Yep, uh, Amira Evenweaver. I was, yeah. I was telling Amira that I was hoping to get my family back into Zarek, but uh, perhaps with a little persuading it could go the other way for me to, I don't know, retrieve my family from Zarek? Also, Bruce was offered a factory here. I mean, I'd have to retrieve my husband as well. I don't hate this idea. That does bring into question the extent of my aforementioned social suicide. Yeah, it, this really hinges on you um, still having some social standing after last night. And, again, who do you want to, like I both said, who do you basically want to owe a favor to? Um, if no one, you're probably going to see. <laughs> and go to the legal round. Mm -hmm. so, we need a decision, folks. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Well, if it's one thing we're good at, it's making decisions quickly and in a timely manner. Um, <laughs> that's every we... D&D party. <laughs> how, many, I mean, how many options do we have right now? I was about to say, we could probably make a plan I'm... A. If it doesn't work out, a plan B. It you sounds know. to me that there, there's three plans. Option A, Dawn Callers, three to four days. That's kind of like on the medium scale of legality. Magicians, three to six days. That's the most legal. C, two to four. Definitely illegal. <laughs> we should start with the Dawn Callers, and if they don't have anything... Yeah, let's do the Dawn, let's do the dawn Callers, and then just be like... I'll just tell them, like, look, I will go do the mission, and I may be slightly delayed coming back because there's something else I have to do while I'm up there. Is everyone in agreement or have another opinion? <sighs> yeah, you know, I really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of liked your Vacantus idea, but that's... Maybe that's how we get back in if we get stuck out there. Yes, I would rather owe her a favor for bringing my family back rather than owing her a favor for Forgetting getting us. me out and bringing them back. Yeah. Yeah, that's two favors. Right, and the one to the Dawn Callers is just going to be we probably have to do an extra job for free at some point. Just, I wonder if we might want to disclose some of that ahead of time. Just be like, we, we have other stuff we need to do too while we're in the area, but we wanted to help you while we were there. Now, hold on. How prepared is, is it that we all return? What if just one non-color came back? Depends on how long we need to come back. Well, what if we invite Zeta into our party for a little bit of time. She comes with us, and upon completion of it, she returns to the There you go. Yeah, actually, that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay. And since it would be my first Dawn Callers mission, they probably are going to want to send somebody to supervise me anyways. Yeah, they're probably want you to babysit. for a while. Yeah, yeah, see? I'm starting to like this. This is starting to seem like a plan. Uh, what, what do you think, Chance? I, uh, I don't know. Are you morally opposed to the plan? No. Alright, All right, then it's settled. Dawn caller it is. So, Lance, you're the dawn caller in the group. Roll me a persuasion check with advantage. Oh, you don't want me to persuade them? That's crazy. <laughs> You're, you're, you're supporting, so you guys are like <laughs> helping Lance do this. 18. Okay. I didn't roll that 20 because Red was there. He's intimidating, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, he talked about how they have terrible colors. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if I should talk to them. <laughs> roll me a D100, Lance. I feel like you kind of used up your luck with that last 93. Yep. Getting upgraded. Oh. Okay. And... This is going to be the, the big important one. Roll me a... D4. This is the important one? Yeah, the other two were just to make you sweat. Roll one last thing for it. A D twelve. You ask Guildmaster Siham, and she says that she can probably figure something out. The reason why is that there is a the East seems to be very interested in hunting monsters and other creatures that seem to be spawning more frequently. But they seem they want to capture or at least exterminate a lot of creatures. She tells you that she can look into it and 
if that's the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to ask, are you willing to wait how many days before abandoning the Dawn Collar route? I would say if she didn't give me a timeline, I would say start a plan B after three days. Great. So after two days, because that's what you did, it was a three minus one for how many days until they get an approval. She tells you that there is a quest that they can grant upon you in that region to basically go and hunt uh, monsters called critics. She creates a illusion of them. They kind of look like this. Oh, that's ugly. These creatures are starting to infest the area and they were attacking refugees. We are worried now they may be attacking other people. We would like them, the East would like them to be exterminated or preferably captured alive and brought back. All of them or do they just need one? The more you bring back, the better. At least one would, so if you exterminate them all, you'll get a, a base reward. If you bring back one alive, you would be able to get um, 1.5 times as much. And then if you bring two alive, two or more, you get double. Okay. The offer that they're doing, let me roll for it. Uh, 30,000 silver. And if we catch two, it goes to 60,000? Correct. And what's my split with the Dawn Callers? They will ask for... Regardless if it's a... Like, regardless if it's 30,000, 45, or 60, they're gonna take 10,000. Actually, 15,000 for this one. Because they're doing this also as a favor for you. That's fine, right, guys? Oh yeah. Um, looking at the looking at the solution of it, is there, do I happen to know anything about these kind of things? Well, uh, our content. You would know that they are monstrosities. They are. They have a burrow, they can burrow, they can climb, and they're very fast. You also they... make a swarm. So it's not just like you're hunting one or two, they are in columns. Um, are they, do they have any kind of toxins or resistance to them? No. Okay. No resistances, no immunities. She just studies her for a second, looks over. I, I can take them alive. There's also going to be a question for you if you guys are taking a lot and coming back to the east. How's that going to work? <laughs> Those we then send through the teleportation circle to your mom's house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like this idea. And this oh, idea gets better. <laughs> um, does... Would they go... Uh, this is a meta question. Would they go in, like, the monster capture things? They're going to ask to also have one of the seals that they have. Is that what you're asking for? Because they're they're expecting you to capture it and like bring it back. They're not giving you anything at this moment. Oh no no that's fine. I, I'm that was a meta question for me because I think we need to go pick up some of those ourselves anyways. Yep. So you can buy one of your own and you'd be able to then have that reusable. Otherwise you're buying a lot of rope and you're bringing a wagon. <laughs> And can Z, is Z, can Z go with us? Alice, roll a persuasion check. Well, I'm very persuasive. I would like to use my lucky to try that again. So persuasive. <laughs> like, I am very lucky, I am very persuasive. I am very persuasive. Fucking hell, dude. Mm, so 19 persuasive. Is, 19 is good. Uh, <laughs> 
19 is good. You you also have your talisman, so if you want to add a, a d4. I didn't that. I didn't know if that was considered a uh, little impish magic that they would yell at me for, or if it was talking, just. This is you talking to Z. Z oh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm flashing the puppy dog eyes at her. <laughs> oh God. The puppy yeah. dog eyes. She, the she's gonna puppy get sweaty. Dog. You already owe <laughs> her 10 billion favors. What's one more? Uh, uh, darling, darling, you're going to get a cut. The Dawn Collars are going to owe you for this one. Fine, but I want an introduction to that green hair, Revenus. Oh, I shit. Fine, I will introduce you, but when you find out that when he opens his mouth, he is the worst person in the world, don't come crying to me, because I will say I told you so. I'm joking, I'm joking. That's just I another you a much favor. better man. A favor that I can call upon later. Going to be 80 years old, and you're still going to be calling upon favors. <laughs> and she continues on. <laughs> Some of that dragon beat. So, you all, that's going to take you two days. So, we're going to do very quickly what are you all doing in the next two days? Because that was on the 17th. You're essentially leaving on the 19th. So, we're going to do some very quick housekeeping things for it. Are you going just with Z? there, or are you going to try to bring any of your other fellows for it? Whether that's Mahmoud, Daphne, Abdel, Laura, or Aurelia. I guess we talk to them and see what they want to do with their lives now. Okay. So, Mahmoud and Katya, they, it all depends on what's going on with uh, Zombie Chadwick. So, for you, Lance, yeah. what are you going to promise to come back? To continue to find a cure, or are you gonna ask them to come with you? Um, Chance or Alice, can one of you help me lie to them and say that this may help find some information to help in the process? God, I, why why do we need to tell them this may get so they, more information? So they calm down, and don't freak out, and murder each other while I'm gone. I, I mean, I feel like just telling them that you're going to come back. <laughs> That's fair. Jeez. Are you, so, Lance, are you going to tell them that you're going to promise you're going to come back? Yes, I'm going to tell them I need to go take care of this, and I will come back and continue working on the problem. And some of the stuff I need to do is research and formulation anyways and i can do that on the road okay. also you'll probably come back a little bit stronger <laughs> roll a persuasion check with advantage plans i will give you a bardic and a bardic <laughs> 21 plus d8 all right 26 they agree they will stay all right and not Abdel. kill each other uh, let's go with Zanny. Zanny, when you talk to Abdel, are you going to recommend that he stay here, go on his life, do anything he wants, or are you going to say, hey, why don't you join us? We can always use an artificer on the road. Sort of. I... Tim wants Abdel to come with us. Because artificer. Um... But that's purely selfish meta reasons. Uh, I think Zanny would just ask him what he wanted to do with his life. Like, does he, is he interested in coming along? It's not going to be safe for him. Not even close. No, he's not interested in coming on the adventure. Let me roll to see if you're going to ask to put it all on him. I don't want him to come with us if he doesn't want to, because his... He's you know, willing I... to stay in Timosh for now, as he still needs to get his own stuff in order. Yes, he was reported where people believed him dead, and now he needs to undo all that. I, I, I will share with him that I am starting to work on a business opportunity, and I could definitely use someone with his skill set. Okay. So I'd like to keep him in mind for something in the future, just... Don't, don't go disappearing. In the meantime, should we get up a job with the cobbler friend? Could use an extra pair of hands. 
and you're very handy. Be a decent job for you. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Twenty-seven. You will work with Ilzod with some stuff. All right. Let's go with um. Okay, let's go with Laura. Uh, Chance, with Laura, do you... What would Chance tell Laura in passing, if anything? Would she leave her be? Would she tell her, like, hey, you can come with us on the adventure? Or would you tell her to stay here and you guys will leave back? Or something else? Tanny was the one that specifically said she wanted to talk to Laura. Yeah, but right now we're doing different people and giving everyone different things, unless... Okay. Danny, do you want to be the one that talks to Laura? Also? Um, Zanny was going to just... She wasn't going to be as do-whatever-you-want as she would be with a full-grown adult. Okay. <laughs> so... Much more... She would... She would she wants to propose to Laura to stay here for a while until it's safe for her to leave Aramur entirely. And... Oh yeah, because you also were talking about the, the, the Rhea situation. Yeah. Sorry, Zanny, I really forgot about that. Yeah, Zanny, Zanny kind of wants to have a conversation with Ellie at some point in time about possibly the family adopting Laura. Okay. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Because I've just... We have seen this kind of strife in a child's eyes before. Not for plenty. She will stay. <laughs> she won't be... She won't run away. Great. Uh, Aurelia. Are you guys leaving her here with Adnan, or are you guys going to take a child across the desert, do a little monster hunting, and deliver her to Zerish? What's a little monster hunting before you can walk? I feel like that's Zan something Zanny was doing, and Zanny turned out fine. Did she? Unfortunately, she'll be a hindrance. Did I? So, yeah, that's the question. Do you want to? Is you could have a baby like strapped to you She's in the left with someone. Well, what do you propose? Oh, who is going to keep her? You mean to leave her with Adnan? I'm pretty sure this man has never held a child in his life. Mm, better than going. He mostly raised Lance. And look at Lance. Lance did okay. Look what at him. Katya. He's okay. What about Katya? She turned her husband into a zombie. <laughs> yeah, that's. Well, I mean, she can't turn the baby into anything more than a monster that she's going to become. No, but she also wants to leave. Yeah, and she can take a baby with you. She, she decides her family is complete and takes the baby and bounces. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, okay, up until Lance said that part, I actually was kind of on with Red's idea. Well, <laughs> So you already know Abdel's gonna be in the house, Laura's gonna be in the house, Daphne's gonna be in the house because Mahmoud's in the house, and that man is in the house. So there's a lot yes. of people living here. So there's a lot of people that can watch her. Do I just but leave her here? It's better don't, than us watching her. Don't take it to my family. I, I, I just don't, just shooting you straight, I don't see a world where we take that baby with us and, and she lives and I'm really scared about that. This will give you a chance to have the conversation with Bruce without just presenting him with surprise. I feel like going that's on another something... adventure, watch the baby. I feel like that's something men like is to be surprised, no? No. Well, you know, you know, like better than us. Surprise wow. with chocolates, candy, sure. Surprise with baby, no. That was are you going to bring the baby along through the desert, or are you going to leave her here? 
I do not want to do that. I do not want to take the baby in the in the desert. No, I don't. The sunburn. <laughs> the sunburn. Alice is going to be better with all of you for the foreseeable future. I'm okay with that. <sighs> baby is going to be in there. You guys have two days before you set out. So today is the 17th. The 18th passes. And on the 19th, you are cleared to go hunting. So you are leaving Timosh on the 19th. As you do this, I'm going to ask really quickly if there's anything people want to just like highlight if they're going to be doing anything, particularly before they leave. So I'll just go, Alice, is there any last thing you're going to do in Timosh? Yeah, I'm going to go check my parents' house. I'll make sure it's okay, and then I'm gonna send a sending to Tomas's girlfriend, whose name I've forgotten. Flair? Uh, no. It's my sister. Oh, that's your sister, okay. Uh, no. that's the one. Um, she's gonna send a sending to her one of the days, and let her know that she's going to see Tomas and ask if there's anything she wants to pass on. Great. We'll RP that elsewhere, but it is noted, and then you checking the house. We'll do a roll to see. Actually, Alice, roll a, a d20. A d20. Oh, fantastic. The house hey. has been ransacked. It hasn't been ransacked, but you are noticing a few people are eyeing, like on the roads and everything, because a lot of people are going there. So we can RP that also later, or you can message me on the side what Alice may try to recommend, because you are not without options. You have friends in high places, friends here, as well as other contacts that can make sure the house is not ransacked or occupied. So, we'll get to that. Uh, Zanny, is there anything else you're doing in the city? Um, Zanny is going to the grocers and to, like, she, she's going to make a couple of stops and restock on food supplies for the trip and crafting uh, materials and then she's going to be spending the time until they leave uh, with Adnan's permission uh, in his lab using those materials to probably make uh, bullets and grenades. Perfect. And, uh, you make. and I'm also leaving a hundred silver specifically with Laura just as spending money while I'm gone. Perfect. Lance, anything you're doing before you leave in the next two days? Yeah, he's going to go sit down with Adnan after he calms down and go over in detail everything that happened and introduce him to everybody that's in his house. Okay. Does Revenos come back, I assume? He does, yeah. So, we, he comes back and we can see about what Adnan's opinion is uh, for things. So, um, great. Yeah, he, he also asks Adnan to watch over the business and he lets that guy know what's going on with that, that we're going to be gone and to talk to Adnan if he needs anything. Okay. Great. And also do, as you said, we have four more days till we actually leave. No, no, two days and then you're leaving. So you're leaving on the 19th. Do I have enough time to finish the skeleton fully? Because that would have been, if I started it the day before the thing, you and started, it was 25% done. It was 20% done on the 16th, 40 60, it would be almost 80%. So you're still not able to animate it, but you're bring, you can bring it along with the trip because you're, hunt, you're monster hunting. Okay. So there will be times where you can just let things go, let things right. happen. And also, did we find a... Did we have any information on to who this other person's body that we found was that the red caps were doing? You have not been able to find any information about it, her, um, other than she was an unfortunate victim. But her bones are clean, right? No, they were. She was. There's meat. So if you want to also have her start being eaten by your scarabs, you can also do that. But we'll um, do that then too. Yeah. Okay. So th that will also be on the queue. Let's go then, Erlon. Anything you're doing in the next two days before you head out? Uh, brown bear gym. Brown bear gym. The gym. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then in the meantime, gonna finally. Open up a book and learn some Draconic. Excellent. <laughs> Hopefully. If anybody wants to teach it to me, that would be nice, too. Uh, that was going to be on my list. All right, yeah. perfect. We can RP some of that also. 
Fantastic. Uh, great. <laughs> and then chance. Anything you want to announce that you're gonna be doing? <gasps> Sorry, really quick day? too. Sorry, eloquent time too. Oh, eloquent time. Yeah, we yeah, can. Five words, words worth. Thank you. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna write it down. Eloquent. <laughs> if someone please teaches me how this thing works. Yeah. Or it's just gonna be a. I haven't heard from you in a long time. <laughs> and <laughs> chance. Anything you want to just make uh, notate that you're doing in the next two days? Um, yeah, I said I was, next time we had a little time, she'd, she'd try to start going to the gym with Erlon no and teach shit. him Draconic while she tries That's to right. not get stronger, but either get more dexterous or more, more <laughs> constitution-y. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And That's the right. other thing she's mostly doing is uh, she's going to spend some more time in the Peace Temple because she is... She is edging a panic attack this entire time. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. We'll yeah, Lance. L Lance will talk to Chance because he knows more of the situation than everybody else. I think. Yep. All right. You, forgive me, I'm going a little quick because we're over time. So we'll do other things, and we'll also recap some of what we did, what what I you guys all said. We're gonna recap that at the beginning of next session. But next session. We're going to start off doing these recaps of what was going on, as well as the journey. You guys starting to cross. But, all right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Apologies for a lot of the technical difficulties, but we made it. <laughs> everyone, enjoy the rest of your night. And thank you all, everyone, for staying late. I appreciate it. Everyone have a good night. And until next time, take care. Bye. Bye. Night, night, guys.